Hey guys, what's up? It's Pizza Loving Nerd here. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can make Ubuntu Budgie look like Slowest Budgie. So, um, the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our terminal, um, and like so. And we are going to want to install the, or add the PPA for Adapta. So, sudo apt, um, or, yeah, sudo apt add repository and then space ppa colon tista slash adapta and then type in your password and hit enter all right um now that we have the repo installed we're going to do sudo app papy papyrus dash icon theme and then adapta dash gdk theme and hit y and it should install now all right um so um we're going to wait till that's done installing all right it's done now so now we're going to open up the Raven menu and click on the settings icon to open up the Budgie desktop settings. And then where it says widgets, we are going to change it to um, Adapta. Where it says icons, we are going to change it to Papyrus Adapta. And for cursors, that's going to stay the same. Um, actually, we need to install Breeze cursors, so, but, um... So, um, to install Breeze cursors, we just need to open up the terminal and type sudo apt install, um, sudo apt install Breeze dash cursor theme. And this will install the Breeze cursor theme. Sorry, I forgot to put that later, earlier. So now if I restart this settings panel, there's Breeze Cursors, so yeah, we're going to want to do that now. Now the next step is to click on Top Panel, um, Top Panel, go to Settings, and Transparency None, and then um, you can add a shadow if you want, but um, I don't think Solus has a shadow by default, and we're going to put this on the bottom. Um, next we are going to want to... Um, we're going to want to move the clock over to, hold on, let me pull up a picture of Solus. Okay, we're going to move the clock next to the Raven trigger. And then we're going to remove this spacer right here. Or not the spacer, the separator. Remove. And now we will... Um, and now um, we will remove quick note and we are also going um, you can keep caffeine if you want actually that's all we're gonna change now only I'm going to move the system tray to um, after the indicator or we're gonna move the volume before it too gonna move our notifications next to the indicator too the user indicator I mean and where's volume there should be a volume indicator right here I think it's status indicator so now it should look like this um, I'm actually I thought Bluetooth was disabled but yeah so now it's blue notification it's Bluetooth, we're going to move the notifications for that. So now it's Bluetooth sound, and then our system indicators, and then we have our places, which I'm actually going to remove. Um, and you can get rid of the extra features, such as the nightlight, caffeine, and app indicator. I'm actually going to move this um, next to this. And I'm also going to remove the spacers just so it looks nicer. Actually, you do need a spacer before caffeine. Um, 
Here we go. We'll put this before the caffeine. Here we go. So now this looks pretty nice. Now um, we need to add a... We can remove this, but... Now um, we are going to add a task manager, so icon task list. We're going to put that here, and um, we're going to remove the spacer, and boom, we're done. So uh, now we have um, our SOAS look here. You can disable window grouping if you want, but I'm going to keep it. You can make it so it only shows pinned. You can lock them. You can do different stuff with them. We will also increase the size to 40 instead of 39. Um, now the next thing is we are going to want to get rid of this dock right here. So to get rid of the dock, we are going to um, we are going to um, do sudo apt remove and then plank. So um, this will remove the dock. And while that's going, we're going to open up the system monitor. And we're going to look for Plank. And we're going to end the process. So now the dock's gone. Um, okay, next thing we want to do is we will... Um, this is what it looks like so far. Um, next, we are going to want to change the background to a Solus background. So, um, actually, we're um, just going to open up Firefox and type Solus backgrounds, and there's this one site that has them. Um, you can go and use the GitHub ones if you want. Um, so, let's look for the default background for the new Solus. Hold on, let me check which one it is. Just go to the newest one. Um, newest background. Good than this. Hold on. I think this is the newest one. Um, let me ch double check though, but I believe that this is the newest background. Yep, this is the newest background. So just click download, and um, we're going to click save image as, and we'll save it into our downloads folder. Open up our file manager, go to downloads, right click, set as wallpaper. Um, so that's, um, that's pretty much it. Um, now we have basically a Ubuntu based Solus look right here. You can also do dark theme if you want, but, um, actually I think this dark theme is enabled by default. Um, you can also use animations, but. Um, I think it's smoother to not use them, but the animations do look nice, so you can keep those on if you want. Um, anyways, so that's it. Um, that's how you make um, that's how you make a Solus look like or Ubuntu Budgie look like Solus. It also has icon desktop icons, so we don't need to do anything about that. So yeah, that's how you transform Ubuntu Budgie to look like Solus. Thank you for watching.